Hey coders and welcome to episode 1.4 of the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to learn how to set values on a spreadsheet. So really there's only one method or I guess two but really it's just one method and it's set values. And the argument for this is values whether it's an array of values or it's just one value. Um, but let's dive into the code and see what I mean by that. So we're back in our script editor here and we still have access to our spreadsheet, our sheet, and our range from the last episode. So again, in the last episode, we just got values. So we just read them off the range and then we logged them to see what they were. And it's all great, but if we want to actually set values, if we actually want to write data into our spreadsheets, we're going to need to use a different function. And that method, that function is going to be called set values. So we have those methods which are available from the range class. And let me just start typing here. So we have two functions. One is set values, one is or one is set value, singular, the other one is set values, plural. So I almost never use set value just because technically you could use set values if you just had one value and you would just you know modify that. So set value, I think I like I again I never really use it, but let's just let's just use it right now, just because it's good to be thorough in these in these videos. So right now our range actually is four columns long. We need just one column long, one row long, uh, just because we need just one cell again. So let's say we wanted to actually modify this. So with set values, you can write new data or you can um, you can overwrite existing data. So here's one. Let's say we want to overwrite this cell, which is D2. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, because I didn't cover it in the last video, I'm going to use this right here. So this is get range string A1 notation. So A1 notation is exactly what I just said here. It uses the column letter plus the row digit. So, and it's a string, so it's D2. So now we have our range, and we want range set value. Let's say moved back to Patriots. Let's hit run. And we can see now there is a new value for this cell. But let's say we wanted to write a new record. So we want to do more than one cell at one time. You can imagine it to get kind of tedious if we had to do one cell at one time. And that is where get values come in. So, or set values, I'm sorry. So set values takes in a two dimensional array. And the outside array is just basically how we're going to hold all of our data. And then the inside arrays are going to be the elements per row. So let me just show you here. We only have one row, so we'll only need one inside array. If there were more rows, you would just separate your arrays by the commas. But anyways, so let's change our range again back to row three, column one. Number of rows is one, and our number of columns is four. So we have four separate elements in this row that we want to oops that we want to fill so let's see we have name location job title reason for leaving so let's do julian edelman let's do new england let's do wide re oops receiver and the last one is oh yeah reason for leaving let's do jumping on cars all right so let's save that we'll run it no errors that looks good and voila there we go we just got a new record in our spreadsheet and we didn't have to manually type any of this in it was all sent from the app script itself which in my opinion is very amazing and with this power you can actually like this is the introduction to automation basically because you can imagine if you had lots of data you could just use the set values method 
to set all that values, you wouldn't have to type it in every single cell. So we'll get in more into that in future videos. But for now, I hope you learned a lot and I'll see you in the next video.